In this Alimex video, you will learn how to create geographic territories out of an account-based alignment. So as you can see here, we have our blank map, but we've got a lot of account icons scattered across the country. If I zoom into an area and I lasso it, let's say this area here, you can see that within that lassoed area, we actually have a lot of accounts there. And you can see them shown here in the summary. So the accounts have been imported and the accounts were assigned to territories during that import process. So that basically creates a account-based alignment. We haven't told the software what to do with the zip codes. So for now, the zip codes remain unassigned. Now there's two ways that we can move forward. The first way is to import a zip code to territory list, which is just a column of all the zip codes and a second column with their assigned territory. If you do not have that list, you can click here on tools and then click on clean alignment. Now we select the unassigned zip codes. We want the software to locate every unassigned zip code. And then we click on next. And it's going to locate unassigned zip codes that have an account located in that zip code. The software is then going to assign that zip code to the same territory that those accounts are assigned to. Now, if there are, let's say, 10 accounts in that one zip code, and six of them are assigned to territory one, and four of them are assigned to territory two, then that zip code will be assigned to the majority account holder. So that zip code will be assigned to territory one. But those four remaining accounts will still remain assigned to territory two. We consider those account overrides. So now let's click on next. And you can see that status bar goes all the way through. And now all of our zip codes that had accounts found in there are now colored in to match the territory. And you'll see it kind of looks like an incomplete jigsaw puzzle. And that's because the software did not know what to do with those remaining areas. You now have the option of using the touch align tool to fill in those gaps manually, or you can go back to tools and run a second clean alignment. You make sure to use unassigned zip codes, but this time you do it by closest territory. And when you click next, the software is going to go through and try to do its best to color in all those unassigned zip codes. It's not going to be perfect as you'll see in a moment, but it's a starting point that lets you color in the whole map, and then you can go back and adjust some of the areas manually. So here we have the completed clean alignment finished. And you can see some of these territories have become massive. So this is where you have a good starting point after the cleanup tool has done its magic. You can now go through and use the touch align tool to modify some of these territories. You'll see some of the territories appear as the same color. So we can go through and change some of those so that they don't look the same. And then you just go through and adjust all your territories and make them balanced. And there you go. You've just learned how to create geographic territories out of your account-based territory alignment.